When developing a service worker, it is common to split up the code into multiple files and load them using the import scripts function. The problem is that changes in one of the imported files might not reach the service worker as the file that does the importing did not actually change. An easy way around that is to put your app's version number into the main service worker file and update the version number on every build. Let's look at a project that uses Gulp as an example. In our build task, we bump the patch version of our project. In the gulp file, we read the package.json and use it to replace a placeholder in the service worker file with the current version number. This way, every build will have a unique service worker throughout development. An additional trick is to stick to semantic versioning. The service worker can inspect if the version number is only a patch, a minor revision, or a major revision. Based on that, you can reload the page for the user, prompt the user to reload, or just install the new service worker silently in the background. Enjoy. See you next time. Welcome to the end card. If you want to know more about service worker, you can watch the last live stream I did with Jake over there. But more importantly, the big chrome. Just click it to subscribe.